How's it going YouTube? Smoky Mountain Piper here and today I'm going to do a review on um, a piece of clothing I bought. Well, not technically clothing. I guess accessories, I guess you could say. Um, for all of you guys out there that are fans of the outdoors and you know, especially if you're a pipe smoker, cigar smoker, and you like to be outside in nature and things like that to get away from, you know, the stress of reality and the, you know, the big cities and stuff like that, or you just like being in the woods, plain and simple. Um, I've been wearing this accessory or whatever um, for probably about a month or so now, maybe even longer. Um, and I love it. I wear it all the time, almost, unless I'm at work, um, come home from, come home from work or come home, um, anywhere before coming home, you know, I put this on or put it on and I, I enjoy it. So, but I wanted to share it with you guys because one, if you guys are outdoor enthusiast or if you like I said if you smoke a pipe or a cigar and you prefer to be out in the woods in nature getting away and really enjoying the smoke a little bit more you know not everyone is like that but um certain people you know they they like to go to maybe like a park or something like that and you know, if there's no one looking, you know, pull out a, you know, pull their pipe or cigar out and have a quick smoke or something like that and enjoy, enjoy themselves. There's some people that, you know, for me living in a small town, I live in the outskirts of town. Um, I'm trying to say that word very less and less, but I can't. <sighs> Like I said, I live on the outskirts of town. Um, crap, I hate that word. People say I say it too much, but hey, I'm going to go with it. Anywho, people will go into town, and of course, you know, there's benches out there and things like that, especially during the holidays. People will decorate them and all that stuff. It's really cool. It's really nice, you know, especially when you drive home or you drive from a friend's house coming back into town. And then leaving town to come home, you know, the the rest. But anyway, all the lights and everything like that for the holidays, you know, Halloween, whatever that you guys celebrate. I love Halloween. I decorate for Halloween. I decorate for Christmas as much as I can. But anyway, we're going to get into the, um, the garment that I wear. And that would be this hat right here, this freaking awesome hat. You can see the orange beanie. You can see the orange beard. The shovel and the slingshot, if you're familiar with this guy, you should know who I'm talking about. If not, I'm going to show you who this guy is. He's a really cool guy. Great YouTube channel. He supports like other outdoors people, but he also helps and edits um, videos for a few of his buddies. Um, Greg Ovens, Chris Taylor, I believe it is. Taylor or Tyler. Um, all great, great, ch uh, channels that I enjoy watching. I love their survival challenges and things like that. Their 30, 30 day survival challenges and they do seven day, uh, survival challenges. But like I said, I'll show you the hat. Wow. That's horrible. But anyway, hat right here. Awesome. Trucker hat, breathable, great for summer. Um, like I said, I wear it pretty much when I come home. I change out of my work clothes, get into my more at-home style and southern charm out there for y'all. Um, familiar with it. If you're familiar with the area, you, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I just want to do a quick shout-out to Brandon Cart. Um, I have not, like I said, I'm looking into those cigars that you mentioned to me. Um... I found them on Pops and Cigars. They look interesting. I think I'm going to order some sometime after the holidays. Uh, congratulations on your wedding, by the way. I really hope that you guys had a great honeymoon. Just because, you know, it's a small honeymoon or, you know, whatever. As long as you love each other, hey, that's all that matters, right? But anyway, I wish you guys the best of luck on that one. And to your wife, like, I don't know your wife's name, but I've heard my voice is a very calming-sounding voice, but to... 
to know that my voice is soothing to her, that I guess that's that's pretty cool. I've never really heard that before. Um, but like I said, I really do appreciate that compliment. I really do. And I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and all to my new subscribers out there. Um, new and old, I really appreciate you guys. Um, for certain people out there, um, I'm going to give some shout outs too because I feel like I haven't heard from them from a while. Uh, Mark from Rhode Island, dude, like you're freaking awesome. I still have some of your tobaccos that I'm still going through and I really don't want to go through them all because they they're just awesome and I really don't want to run out of them but um like I said I'm still trying to scrape up some money together some extra money to be able to send you something and like I said Brandon if you want to send me some of those cigars great um like I said I'll try to send something to you in return you know you know being of the you know brotherly love thing and all that stuff and the pipe community and the cigar community is really cool like I, said, I really do appreciate you guys and the dragon i haven't heard from you in a while and i really hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are doing awesome and it's raining today actually it's thunderstorming and that sucks because i was gonna do a cigar review i might try to do it um i did order some cigars for christmas but i think i'm going to i think i'm gonna keep those as a just like I'm going to use those, I guess, like a early present so that I can have something to smoke and all that stuff because I want to do another cigar. I got one cigar review to do for you guys, and I got to do, like I said, when I get the new ones that I'm getting in, um, I'm going to do a review on those. I've never ha had these types of cigars before. They are a dark, like they're like dark, um, a dark, they're dark. Um, cigar like the wrapper is it's almost black like I don't know if that's a certain Maduro I didn't really get to read it I saw it and I saw the price I said I can afford that right now so I went with it but anyway we're gonna get back into the the hat like I said it's really awesome the website's awesome you get a whole bunch of good stuff um like I said you get your invoice and all that stuff but what's really cool is that you'll get the Fowler Flyer, okay? And it has different things on it. Uh, there's a competition right now. Well, not right now. This is pretty old. It's about a month or so old. Uh, take the five shot at 33 feet and post your pics and vids with the tag. Hashtag 33 foot challenge. Um, the winner gets a $50 gift card. $50 gift card. Good grief boy pronounce your words like I said you get knives slingshots bags um it's pretty cool like I said check it out it's um oh my neck is killing me I'm trying to remember exactly what I got in here but like I said it, come, it came in this decent sized box which I use the boxes for fire making and stuff like that but um <clears throat> Alright, but like I said, the... Oh, my neck is right over here. Alright, Chris, stop whining about it. Just get on with it. Alright, fathersmakeryandmischief.com. Look it up. It's I love the website. I've been on it a few times, or actually more than a few times, going through the things that I want to buy. Like, I need to get some more outdoor cooking stuff for when I do. Not just for, like, when I do get to go camping, which is very rare because of my stupid Crohn's disease. If you have IBS and colitis and Crohn's, I feel for you. It sucks. Um, it's a pain in the butt, literally, and not, not in a funny type of way sometimes. But, um, if you have it, I feel for you. But, yeah, um... But yeah, it's twenty dollars for the hat, and then four dollars and two cents for shipping. So that's not really all that bad. Twenty four bucks. Um, like I said, I love this hat. It fits like a glove. I didn't really have to mess with it when I got it, so it was very pleasing. I'm gonna turn this light on really quick. Let's see. Yeah, it'd be a little bit better. Okay, you can see me a little bit. But anyway, you get. The when you get your hat or whatever item that you buy, um, like I said, you get the Fowler Flyer, and 
like I said, you get there's knives, slingshots, bags, um, cooking spices. I think there's cooking utensils, stuff like that. Pots might be. If not, there's another website that I can um um tell you about. Um, but like I said, it's it's a really good website and he's a really good guy too. So you want to help him? I mean, you you just want to help the guy out. He's a good dude. Um, very um. God fearing man, good good man, you know, he'll pray every time or before he eats, things like that. And I like his channels because like I like to cook. Yes, and oh my god. And you like to cook. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. Where have you been all my life? I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um like I said, he does really great recipes. Um fish. If you like bass, trout, um, perch, things like that. I mean, you can use all those recipes on different things, different fish and stuff like that. He does, like, wild game type meats and stuff like that. Um, along with uh, Chris Taylor. He's, he's he's a good dude. Like I said, I, I like watching him. And um, Greg Ovens. I, I, I recently just got to finish watching his seven-day uh, survival. Greg Ovens and his friend and then he brought his dog his new dog he had this puppy for a while um trying to remember the dog's name and i feel bad uh finn um german shepherd he might be mixed with something else but i think he's mostly german shepherd but it, i mean great companion dog real good mannered dog so you can't go wrong with that um but like i said i love watching that those episodes because you know they're in Canada, they're somewhere in Canada, the, they're, they go to this island, I don't remember exactly where in Canada, but it's just beautiful place, I mean, there's whales, humpback whales, I mean, orcas, I love orcas, my favorite whale, porpoises, dolphins, you know, they're swimming with the boat for crying out loud, and it's a little, like, not really a dinghy, well, it might be a dinghy boat, but I mean, it's like a, Something like the Coast Guard would use to go pick up somebody, like if they're having trouble or something like that really quick, you know what I mean? But, I mean, it was just awesome to see that. And I'm just like, like, dude, I wish I was there. Like, I always wanted to see stuff like that. But, other couple of things that you get, I got this really cool sticker. It's a samurai with a slingshot. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to put this... I might put this on my dirt bike helmet, but I'm afraid if I do start riding again, and again, again because of my Crohn's, it's hard to do things sometimes. Um, there's that word again. I'm trying not to say it. I'm afraid if I fall in the sticker, I fall in the sticker, it's going to get ruined, but that's just the way how the cookie crumbles. Because I do have some really cool stickers on my helmet. I have Jack Skellington and... I have this really awesome Celtic cross. Not exactly like the one on my arm right here, but a little bit different. Um, it's actually funny. This is actually my first tattoo. And I printed off pictures of this tat of this image, you know what I mean, off the computer. Ever since I had this put into my skin, I can no longer find this cross online. It's like it was meant for me. I just, I don't know. Like fate or something like that, I guess, if you believe in that. But also, with your sticker and the Fowler Flyer, you get a card. It's a trading card. It's actually really cool. Uh, season 3, Zachary Fowler Series, 30 Day Survival Challenge, Main Lockdown. I think that was when, when the coronavirus was just really starting to affect people and stuff like that. And we had to like really like be super cautious of where we went to and all that stuff. And, um, like I said, you get the, you get a trading card, which is really cool. And it's signed by the man. It's, it's signed by him. So you're, like I said, it's pretty cool. Um, Maine's COVID-19 guidelines lock the state up and force Fowler to stay close to home for season three of the 30 day survival challenge where he digs, builds, eats, catches, and cooks right in his own backyard. That's pretty cool. Zach's top 12 items, high-powered air rifle, um, 
eighteen hundreds farmhouse. 100 degree moat, two daughters, mischievous, mischievous woodchuck, mischievous woodchuck. Try saying that five times fast. Mischievous woodchuck, mischievous woodchuck, mischievous woodchuck, mischievous woodchuck. Mischievous woodchuck. I failed. Five lobster tracks, 14 degree pointer fishing boat, sling bow, pet lobster, tree fort, fly fishing ride, DIY cold smoker. And the Bible verse that he has on here is Plasm 28, 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts, my heart trusts in him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart exults and with my song I shall thank him. It's a pretty nice one. I like that one. But... Really cool stuff that you get. Like I said, this hat is awesome. Camo. I think they have brown. Yeah, I like brown. But I like the camo better. Um, I plan on wearing this, like I said, for until I can't wear it anymore. And um, I'm thinking about doing a hat for my channel. Um, getting hats like these online. I found some hats on eBay for like five bucks. Something like that a piece. If they're good hats, I'm thinking about buying a few. Because my mom has an embroider, and I would like to have, like, Smoky Mountain Piper, like, above, with maybe a beard. Not like this one, but maybe, I don't know, maybe more Gandalf-looking, look I don't know, maybe. With a really cool, long church warden pipe coming out, and then maybe, like, some, like, a cigar, or some, I don't know, something like that. Um, I thought about doing something like that, if it's possible. But if not, that's all right too. But I just like I said, I wanted to give Fowler his you know his due because like I said, really great, really great channels. Like I said, all all of them that he supports and helps with the editing and stuff like that. So Chris Tyler's mainstream, um, Greg Ovens, uh, Rocky Mountain Bushcraft, um, his his channel Fowler's is. Uh, his Makery and Mischief channel. It's all great. I mean, they're all really good channels. I think he's going to be doing more, like, different channel setups as well. So that should be pretty cool. Um, there's that word again. What am I watching? Now? Oh, Ghostbusters. Okay, cool. I was watching... What was it? Oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And now it's... Uh, Ghostbusters, the original Ghostbusters, the uh, night with Bill Murray and all them. Um, damn that word. Classic movie. Has anyone out there besides my brothers from another mother seen that movie? Next year, we have the final Halloween movie. Next year, we have the final Scream 5, which is not technically called Scream 5. It's just called Scream. But they have the original cast. See, David Arquette wanted this movie so badly to pay tribute to Wes Craven when he passed away. So this might be the final Scream. We don't know because it's just called Scream. There might be more after. We don't know. Um, because, damn that word. Because Matthew Lillard, apparently, I've seen these different videos online where he didn't die, so maybe he's getting revenge. I don't know. Uh, Stu, I guess, his, was his character's name. Yeah, Stu. Yeah, Billy and Stu. That's right, Stu. Um, but the Halloween and the, oh, Friday the 13th. The rebooting Friday the 13th. It's called Friday the, Friday the 13th Reboot. Next year, they're doing that one. Or it should be in theaters next year. They already did a Friday the 13th. A new one. Two, oh, 2009, the year I graduated. It had Daniel Panabaker in there, for God's sakes. And then they had the one guy from... Um, uh, what was that show? I used to watch a show. Like, very once in a while. I mean, once in a while. It was a good show. It had Jason Ackley's in it from Dark Angel. I loved Dark Angel growing up. 2000, was it 2000 and... 2000 and 2001 or 2 when it went off air. It was only around for two seasons, but it was a damn good show. Um, stupid word. 
but I mean, it was a show that was, I mean, a lot of things were made before their time. You know what I mean? Like, the, like even the silent movies back in that time. Oh, they were made way before its time. Like they're like wow, like way too, way too early for that. And it's like, well, maybe that's when it needed to be made. You know what I mean? So, but, but anyway, uh, I'm looking forward to those movies. Like I said, if you guys are movie buffs, you know, if you have any other pipes, uh, cigars, I need to try. Um, like I said, I can't wait to, hopefully if the rain settles down and I can get bundled up to a certain degree, maybe I can go up. I mean, it's like 60 degrees, but with that wind and the rain, that's hypothermia waiting to happen if you're caught out in that crap, especially if you're camping, you know what I mean? Like you better have a good fire you better have a really good sleeping bag and extra clothes and all that good stuff. But anyway... Um, damn that word. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, it's not the usual videos, but I didn't say it. I just wanted to show, um, damn it, a good hat. I just wanted to show you guys a good hat. Like I said, if you guys are interested in getting one, Fowler's Mischief and, oh Lord, I can't say it. Fowler's makeryandmischief.com. 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 Check it out. Um, if you're interested in other survival gear, smokymountainknifeworks.com. Check them out. They have some of the Pathfinder uh, goods. I didn't say it. I said, oh, we're doing, we're making progress with my vocabulary. I'll pull a Deadpool too. If anyone likes Deadpool. Hopefully I won't have to do that. Because I don't want to scare people away. But anyway. But uh, yeah. Uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Co. They have the Pathfinder. Um, God, stupid word. I'm trying to think of the other guy I watch. Oh, uh, Corporal's, Cor Corporal's Corner. Sean Kelly. Corporal Sean Kelly. Just be, look him up. I think you'll be able to find his, um, damn word. You'll be able to find his merchandise, clothing, cookware, knives, all the good stuff like that. Like I said, if you guys are really int interested in outdoor survival stuff and, um, getting worse as this video ends, I swear to God. Just be the moisture in my beard. Oh, I love my beard. I love my red Viking power right there. But again, like I said, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers. Anyone that I've talked to that I haven't talked to in a while, like shout out to you. I hope you're doing well. Like I said, I really, I really do appreciate you guys watching me following me, sending me comments, all that great stuff, you know, hey, if you want to be pen pals, great, rock on, I do not mind the friendship, if there's any single ladies out there that like smoking pipes or smoking cigars and you're in the western Carolina area, you know, that's cool too, but eh, not much is really happening. Not a lot of girls my age around here. That's what the problem is. Or they're all married or they all already have kids, which I don't mind. I don't mind. If I can't have kids of my own, like if, like if your kids like consider me like, oh, I consider you as a dad because you actually stuck around or something like that, hey, awesome. I'll be an honorary dad. You'll be my honorary kid. That's fine. That's cool. You know what I mean? But, um... Anyway, I just, I am going to see if I can find, well, I know where the cigars are. I know where the one that I need to do a video on. Hopefully, well, I think it quit raining. Or if I can just be able to get on my dang front porch, I'll make another video after this one. But again, I just really wanted to say thank you to you guys. Thank you to um, everyone I've mentioned, Brandon Cart. Um... And Mrs. Cart, um, the dragon, 
Mark from Rhode Island, anybody else I've you know talked to on here that shared your uh, past dislikes, likes, and things I should try. I really do appreciate it, like I said. But I'm going to get off here, find a coat, get my cigars out, and do a quick review because I only have two of those cigars left. And I really hope that the video won't suck because of the damn rain. But maybe it'll be relaxing. You never know. But I'm going to go get on to that. And this is Smoke Mountain Piper signing out. Until next time. May the smoke be with you. Damn, that was nerdy as hell. But hey, I'll keep it because it's either that or a Deadpool joke. Maybe I could think of one really quick. Hey, Jared. How's it going? I'll take a foot long. Fully loaded.